Let's in motion. How's it going, Exiles? My name is Ralph, and today we're going to be talking about the Challenge League that's coming alongside with the Ascendancy expansion, Parandus League. Oh man, sounds pretty cool. They released a teaser and they released the challenges very recently, so let's just look at the league first. In this, uh, in the video that's here, basically what happens is talk to some guy named Kadrio. He's all wealthy, aristocratic, Mr. Cadilla. Big Money Bags, Cadilla. and you Cadilla. give him these Parandus coins, and then he gives a unique item in exchange. I can't remember what the item was, it's just some random item. But, so yeah, there's all these description, all this role-playing RP, you know, just, oh, Parandus, he's got so much money, he's great, he's epic, he did all this cool stuff with the Labyrinth. And then, it shows you, it's like, oh, Chevrons, I can, I can get a Chavs in this league, yeah, get you all hype, you know, so, so whatever, trying to, trying to, trying to get the hype for the treasure. Uh, legacy gloves here, these Rampage gloves, so obviously you're going to be able to get some legacy items from this league, which is pretty cool. Just a random rare unID'd ring, which is kind of weird. And then the Parandus coins themselves, because you know the PoE currency system has failed, so we just got to have Parandus coins, have the gold system that we always have wanted. find it a little strange that they're doing this, but I mean, it's kind of cool. So, basically how it works is there's these chests around the... I don't know exactly where they are, I'm pretty sure they're just anywhere. These Parandus chests, you open them, there's going to be a guardian protecting them. It says that, yeah, the guardians will not relinquish their riches easily. You, you know, get the Parandus caches and these, these awesome looking things. And then you get these coins, and then you can exchange them for uniques and treasure and other stuff, which, which seems pretty cool. It seems like a pretty basic idea, but you got to remember... This is coming out alongside uh, Ascendancy, so they probably didn't devote a lot of creativity and time into this League idea. Pretty cool, regardless. I don't know. The, like I said, the Prentice coin thing, a little strange. But these three uniques that they showcase for this League, these exclusive uniques, if you're, if you're playing Permanent League, you're going to want to get these in Permanent League. These are sick. The first ones, 7 League Step. You got to be, their evasion rating, 11, level 1 boots. You know, just, oh, it's 50% movement speed. Oh my, what? Wanderlust's, like, cousin on steroids. These boots are amazing for leveling. I want to get these back into permanent leagues, just because they're so cool. I, I, I imagine these are going to be rare. I don't know, though. These are awesome for leveling. 50%, it's, it's crazy. It's still cool. Cool, because it's exclusive league item. I think it's cool that they're really good. This one, the the Zerfi's last breath, 50% increased charge use, so basically it's 12 charges instead, whatever, out of 30, so almost three uses. Gain 800% 800 of the mana cost of use skills as life during flask effect. Wow. If you could somehow balance this, if you could keep this up like that, the mana isn't capping you and you're getting the full, it's a 10 second flask effect, 800% of mana cost? Some spells cost, like, 100 mana, 800 life, and um, the mana you're going to get to be over time, but when you spend mana cost, it's instant, so I'm pretty sure you're going to get, like, 800 life every time you spend. Really powerful flask. Requires level 18, too, so this would be good for leveling, because as your skills cost more mana, this will give more life. Really, I like this item. Cool, unique item. Now, this next one is kind of wonky, but also it's pretty, pretty cool. 20, it's a leather belt base. 12% increased max life, nice. 2% life regen per second. Oh, you're thinking righteous fire, righteous fire. Flasks do not apply to you. Maybe not anymore. Oh man, flasks apply to your zombies and specters. Now this is weird, because I was thinking if you didn't use a lot of flasks, I mean, if you didn't want the flasks yourself, I was thinking about builds that don't really rely on flasks, and I was like, oh well, you know, energy shield doesn't really rely on flasks, so there's no energy shield flask. But then it's like, but it gives 2% life regen and 12% increased max life. So this is a little wonky. Maybe a low life summoner could benefit from that really well. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Or, you know, you could do uh, bright beak, added cold, um, <laughs> Ellie equilibrium, zombies, fizz to lightning, added fire. Uh, right, righteous fire, cyclone, added cold, whatever. Some crazy stuff. You righteous fire summoner build. I don't know. It spells pretty weird. But the whole flasks do not apply to you thing is kind of, kind of concerning. 
I would say, I don't, and then flasks apply to your zombies and specters. This is extremely cool considering that flasks are getting a lot of cool tools. I, I wish it was just minions, but of course that'd probably be broken. Uh, the Itziri flask would be really good. Give your zombies and specters all that chaos damage. Pretty cool synergy. All the new flasks that they're adding, that one that creates consecrated ground when you use it, I'm pretty, I mean, it's going to have to affect each individual minion. I don't know if it's going to create consecrated ground on all of them. That would pretty much, I would think, lag out the game really bad if you had like 10 zombies, but if you create consecrated ground, you're, you know, it'll spawn under your zombies. You could walk up to it and get life regen that way, so you wouldn't have to rely on flasks. There's that one that creates chilled ground. That could be really defensive if it's going to create... Chilled ground around all of them, and the one that creates the smoke clouds. That could also be really defensive. Um, onslaught. Onslaught to your minions. Really, really cool potential with this belt. I love this belt. I don't know. I'd love to see what people do with this, if people are going to be able to survive without <laughs> flasks. Like I said, I think the consecrated ground idea is not too bad. I wonder how this works with that suffix, that increased I mean, percentage of this applies to your minions suffix. That would be interesting if it would stack. I don't know. So, this is pretty cool. Definitely cool, unique items. The concept for the League is okay. I mean, it's a money's treasure. It's, 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 it's whatever. It's whatever. It's not too inspired, but we have a sentence coming out, so who cares? Awesome. These three uniques, really impressive. I love the, des the design and that other one that they we showcased in that other video. The Veranastra or something like that. Generous rewards. Oh, man. So, I was thinking to myself, like... You know, because the Challenge League kind of puts a lot of pressure on the player, but because uh, I want to play hardcore, I want to play hardcore so I can give some har hardcore commentary to you guys so I can, like, say what that's like rather than play standard. I mean, I'm down with standard. I've played a lot of standard, but I want to play hardcore in the Labyrinth. I think that's going to be so epic, but they they did it. If you get 12 challenges, you get the Prana's Footprints, it's a little gold glow. 24, the weapon effect, that, that gold glow there. Oh, man. 36 challenge. The portal? The portal looks so sick! Are you kidding me? Why you gotta do this GGG? So mean! So, I'm feeling the pressure. I don't know if I can complete these challenges in hardcore. It's been a while since I've played, and I don't know if my, my, my computer can handle it. I'm a little bit limited with the hardware, but I'm gonna try because this portal is sick. Like, I wanna get this. So, yeah, I mean, 36 challenges isn't so bad. Let's, let's actually, let's look at the challenges. I mean, the league itself seems cool. The unique items seem cool. The rewards seem awesome. So, let's look at the challenges. What do you have to do to get the rewards? The footprints are kind of cutesy. I mean, the weapon effect looks awesome. This video shows them off in good detail. They, they all, all three of them look good. The gold looks sick. The challenges, 40 is a lot, but it seems like they start pretty easy, and then they rank up. I kind of like it. They're sort of in tiers, which is nice. Kill these unique monsters. Again, none of these are hard. They're just sort of like leveled throughout the game. Easy. Easy first challenge. Act 2 interiors. Yeah, that's easy. Doesn't say on any difficulty. Just have to go kind of explore the map. You'll get this done eventually. Open a portal to the labyrinth. So there is some sort of labyrinth affecting, I mean, in this, which is cool. Um, again, a joke. That's a joke. So the first three are a joke. Complete these encounters. Master mission. Easy. Possessed monster. With the torment, that's easy. Rogue Exile Strongbox, Vault Side Area, Touch a Shrine. You see, they they start out pretty simple. Vendor recipes, any gem, magic item, rare item, cro yeah, all easy, all very doable. This, yep, normal bosses, create a hideout, yeah, simple. I kind of like how they're doing this because these last challenges for Talisman were kind of brutal. I mean, not like, oh, I want easy challenges because you'll see these rank up, and it's not going to be easy for everyone to get the portal effect by any means, for, for sure. Cruel, Act 2, Exteriors, so more just like zone clearing and easy. Rare Monsters and Cruel. Rare Monsters. That's going to be kind of annoying. Uh, no, I mean, you'll just get that done over time, but yeah, that, that's just going to happen. Use these currency items. I really wanted one of these to be Exalted Orb, but yeah, this is all very, very simple list. The Encounters 2, so see, it starts to get a little more difficult, just a little more difficult. Fully clear side area. That's just a rogue exile. Kill a monster possessed by a specific tormented spirit, which is kind of obnoxious. Unique monster in an Elrion mission. That's easy. Arcanists in a resistant shrine. You, you'll get these as long as you're playing a lot. Kill these cruel act bosses. Again, I mean, if you get if you can get through cruel, this will be easy. 
create or upgrade to a large size hideout. <laughs> I mean, I I did not like the Forsaken Master grind too much in Talisman. I do not know how I feel about this. This is easy to do. I mean, it's easy enough in three months' time, but come on with the Forsaken Masters. Every single set of challenges, there's always a Forsaken Masters challenge. It's like, oh my, it's getting a little bit... Uh. Now, encounters three. Complete a puzzle? Uh, optional trap gauntlet. Secret passage? Ooh, golden key, golden door, hidden switch, silver key. Some Prandis stuff, some Labyrinth stuff. We're not so... I, I, I'm not very familiar with this. This sounds this pretty hype. I like it. Some Indiana Jones stuff going on here, dude. Uh, kill these vol bosses. I'm pretty sure these are just in the side areas. This is just going to take time. Just do some, some frame time farming, but still might be kind of annoying to do. Um, level these masters. Reach reputation level 5 with at least 6 of these 8. Level 5 is easy to do. You will get that if you just do the missions as you see them. I hate Katarina. She can stay at level 2. Um, everyone's going to be doing Zana. The buffs to Zana are crazy. Very Zana is amazing. She's going to be amazing. This league going to be pretty op op. Uh, yeah, this one's not bad. This one's fine. Complete these quests. Just do it. You know, they're kind of out of the way, but you get you get these awesome MTXs for it. It's not that bad. Identify a lost treasure. Yeah, Varanastra, there's that one. This is the... Oh, yeah, these are the uniques we revealed. And there's some of these we don't know. But these are cool. Yeah, these are obviously the new unique items for this Piranus League. Identify a Labyrinth unique. Oh, man. It was Zaro stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, getting, getting, getting kind of hyped here. This list is actually... It actually has more Labyrinth stuff than I thought it was going to have. Open these Parandus chests. Oh, so there's like different types. There's like different types of... Oh, dang. This might be a little more complex than we previously thought. This Parandus League might actually... Jewelry box, locker, safe, treasury. Oh, I'm kind of excited. This is going to be... Maybe it'll be some really fun stuff for self-found. I don't know. Kill Argus. I don't know who Argus is. I'm thinking it's a Parandus Guardian or something like that, but... Every single difficulty. Uh, maybe I'm just being stupid. If you guys know who Argus is, tell me. Kill these chest guardians. And then here's this huge list of people that are going to be protecting these chests. Again, it's inter I'm actually excited to see how this challenge league plays out. It might be really fun. And if there's some, like, really rippy guardians, you just... You're gonna, the greed. You're going to be, be so greedy for that the chest, you're going to die. Achieve Ascension. Use the Ascendancy device in each difficulty. Oh man, pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Challenge Azaro. Defeat Azaro while the following conditions are active. It's supported by this, 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 and that. Lieutenant, charge, blah, blah, blah. Again, I don't know anything. This stuff, I'm excited. We're, I mean, it, for, besides those streamers and people who have been watching the streamers, I have not been watching the streams just because I don't want to have it spoiled. It's going to be amazing to walk in there for the first time on Hardcore and it's been so long, it's going to be like, oh god. But these is really cool. I'm excited to see how the encounter plays out each time. It's going to be, the challenge is going to make you want to do it multiple different ways, and you'll get to see it all. Very, I like this challenge. I like what it sort of incentivizes you to do. Use these trinkets. I have no, yeah. Yeah, see, this is more labyrinth. Yeah, while in the labyrinth. Rod of detonation, sand, portal. Sh this labyrinth stuff's pretty complex. Oh man, we got a lot to look forward to. This is great. This is sort of revealing stuff for people. I mean, if you haven't looked into it, a little, little spoily here, kind of. Not not entirely. These are just names, but still, this is cool. Cube of absorption. <laughs> Apply these enchantments. All these sort of types, auras, and curses, and melee attacks, and all this. Three hundred helmet enchants. It's crazy. It's gonna be. This should be easy, though. I mean, if you do the labyrinth enough. Buy these items. Any... Oh, from Kadria. Uh, Kadiro. Kadiro. I said Kadrio, didn't I? Kadira. I'm dyslexic. I said Kadrio earlier. It's Kadiro. Ignore it. Kadira. Anyway. So he's going to sell currency, uniques, every type of unique, of all fragment. Nice. Jewelry, unique map. Oh, man, he's going to sell all types of items. That's awesome. I don't know how rare these are, though, because I don't know when he's going to reset what he's selling or if it's going to be like you find him. No, his name's is Kadrio. Kadrio. We, we got him. Yep. <laughs> this is cool. 
I'm excited. Maybe this will be very hard. I mean, it's further down in the list, and it seems to be getting harder where it goes, but I hope this isn't too difficult. Hope maybe I hope getting the coins is the harder part. You just have to farm for them. Kadairo. Kill these merciless act bosses. Malachi rips incoming. Selling Malachi merciless. Oh, man. The hype. Kill at series elite. Kill each of the following unique monsters. So this is basically Trio and the Double Vols, which is awesome. Because... This is a challenge, but you don't have to kill it, Siri. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love it, Siri. I definitely want to do it, Siri, in hardcore. I don't know what build I want to do it with, though. Pretty scary stuff, because, I mean, there's a lag spike or something, or my game, F my FPS on the trio is always so bad. But still, I like this challenge. Reach level 90, still counts if you die. It's a long enough league. Reaching level 90 is very, very achievable. Obviously, if you can't play a lot, though, this is pretty sucky. Clear identified rare maps. A bunch of different ones. Oh, full clear. A museum. That might be a little sketchy for some people. Yeah, but most of these are pretty easy. Museum's the only one I'm kind of eh, iffy about. Kill these unique map bosses. Carnage, Hybrid Riddle, Lady of the Brood, Tunnel Trap. Oh, uh, and... No, yeah. This guy's, this guy's easy now. I, none of these look too hard. Maybe Tunnel Trap, but... Once you, once you get endgame, you'll you'll be fine. Complete these encounters. The Vault Temple endgame map. Oh wow, that's gonna be hard to get. Those are kind of expensive. Those are like those can go up to like forty chaos or something like that. Stupid, some stupid high price. Kill a unique item for I mean find find a unique item for Zana. Just gonna be RNG. This is a rogue exile. Kill a monster possessed by a tormented thief. Again, kind of gonna be annoying to get a specific tormented spirit, but open a cartographer's strong box. Eventually you'll get that, an Echoing Shrine, and eventually if you just play a lot. Ugh, that top one, though. That top one's going to be kind of annoying. Yeah, enter. You just have to enter it, though. Never mind. Yeah, you don't have to full clear it. You're just entering it. You could, people are going to sell that. Oh, boy, that's so fun. <laughs> clear, Parandus Manor. Fully clear the Parandus Manor endgame map. Use the remaining command, blah, blah, blah. Excited to see what's in there. Maybe a, uh, like, a, the Vol treasure map V2, because Parandus stuff, that'd be, but it says full clear, but that could be a cool map. I love, I like the Parandus theme. It is, it, it, the whole Sarn and wealthy family type thing, it's pretty cool. Redeem divination card sets. No. <laughs> Again? No. No. The divination card challenges suck. They're terrible. Not fun. Oh, God. Let's pray. Gambler. Flora's Gift Lover. Seven of the 13. Okay, so three of them are a joke. Chaotic Disposition. I don't even... Well, I mean, that one's, that one's easy enough. Hope. Uh, the Sigil Road to Power. Oh, God. I have to look at these. I hope this is easy. This, this has potential to be the worst. Oh, no. We didn't see it. We didn't see it. Anti-hype. Anti-hype. Kill... Two deadly bosses. Two of the three. Oh, man. At Siri. All right. And then... Comb or Duresso in a tier 15 map. Ooh, I like this one because you get to choose which one you want to do because it's two of the three. This is a sick challenge. Clear the twin maps again. Again. Getting these high tier maps can be so annoying, though, if you don't have enough... If you don't get, like, map drops. Like, the... Ugh, building a map pool can be so annoying sometimes. It's, unless, I mean, I know, if, I don't know. Hopefully, this one was okay, but I had a skewed perspective because I was, I was doing the Uber at Siri, and that was, that was a joke. I mean, and I want to, definitely not do an Uber on Hardcore, so, still. Because Uber drops crazy maps, like, Uber will just build your base like nothing. Identify these treasures, again, four of these 12. They added to the list, I'm pretty sure, Aegis, Crown of Eyes, actually, I'm not sure about that. Congress wasn't there, I don't think. Still, this one just costed me exalts. I don't really like these challenges. I don't like this in the div challenge. Clear maps with eight mods. What? You're gonna have to get clear maps in ten of the following fifteen tiers. Okay. Yeah, this is each each tier. Ten of the fifteen. Okay, I was gonna say if you were forced to vol tier fifteen until you got eight mods, this would be ridiculously hard. This is a cool challenge though. I love voling maps anyway. Fully level Zana. I quit. I'm quitting PoE. That's it. I'm no longer playing anymore. This is the end. Um, it's been nice making a couple of YouTube videos, but bye. I'm going to go play uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, fully level Zana.
This was the most painful mission. I mean, challenge. I hated it. Why? Why do they think this is a good... It's not a challenge? What? It sucks. You, like, connect to people who are, like, on the Antarctica server, and you're, like, doing the Xana rotations. You're just lagging like crazy, trying not to die. Well, I'm not doing that. Bad challenge. Bad challenge. Stupid challenge. Anyway, the majority of this list is pretty awesome. I like all the labyrinth stuff. This is pretty hype. I need, we, we need the portal effect, guys. We need the portal effect. You have to do these challenges. Come on. You gotta do it. 36? I don't know. At the end of this list, some of this gets pretty rough. Pretty exciting, though. The, the rewards for this are too, are too fun to look at. I love the, the portal effects are kind of hard to come by, and this is the first one they've done as an MTX reward for a challenge league, I'm pretty sure. And it looks sick. So, yeah, I mean, cool, decent league design, really awesome uniques coming in it. A lot of challenges, a lot of them are easy though, so if nothing else, just get your footprint effect. This looks great. We got like two days, 16 hours. Oh man. Um, we're getting hyped. Let me know what you guys think about this new challenge league, and thanks for watching.